Hello G Nation, I'm your host G and we have a new MLC that started which means new character previews. Now I received a ton and I mean a ton of messages asking me where the hell was my preview because the day was getting late. Well, unfortunately I spent like most of the day uh, at the emergency veterinarian because uh, one of my uh, baby pet rat got pretty sick which we still don't know if she's gonna make it, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that's why I spent most of the day there and <laughs> pretty much a shitload of money. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's why my preview wasn't posted yet because it's like 9 p.m. right now and I'm starting to record it. So probably won't be posting it for a few hours still. So back to better news. We got Otis Alpha Academy which has been, well, both of Alpha Academy actually have been very requested characters. So we're finally getting them. Uh, Otis is a powerhouse. Now the poster art looks pretty damn good. Really good poster. Uh, the trainer ability is at 21K, protect gem, do 100% more damage. So that's definitely a useful one. As links with SmackDown and Alpha Academy, which is Purple Moose, starts with seven more points. Pretty good link. Now oh, the character model. They did get the belly right. The face, though, kind of looks like one of those uh, Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right, first move set, and I can already tell you, like, I don't like to make the preview videos that are too long, because, like, when they're 30 minutes and so, like, kind of feels like too long, but I see a shit ton of possible move set on him, so might be a long one. So the first move set is the Caterpillar. 10 MP red move, finisher deals 163k damage, choose 8 gems to make into purple gems and pin the opponent. The discuss close line, 6 MP purple move deals 72.4k damage and choose a 3x2 area to swap into red gems. And the dozer bomb, 8 MP purple move, deal 93.4k damage and make 32 random gems into blast gems. Now the trainers and coaches, we're gonna use Woods so that purple moves start with four more MP. We're gonna use Damien Priest so that red finisher do 150% more damage, does not include submission move. Now you could definitely go with someone like Slick Rick on that since we're gonna be making a bunch of blast gem and breaking the whole board. You could definitely go with just gem damage too. I kind of wanted to boost the finisher here because with medals and everything, that's going to be a pretty strong finisher. But I got a feeling we might get the most damage out of doing that discus close line. So we'll see where it lands. We have Santa Ogan here adding 2200 more damage to all gems and one more MP. And we got Mr. Gooker adding 25% damage to all moves. Again, you could decide to go with gem damage instead. Now, as for the belt, we put the uh, Twilight Ritual plate there. Uh, don't really care about getting the purple. It's more about uh, like having that those purple gem pop on the board after breaking the red that are gonna break a bunch of uh, those blast gem. Maybe getting some extra purples on the board after the fact might break some of those remaining blast gems on the board. We'll see. Didn't really need any of those. Uh, could have gone maybe for uh, the, uh, actually probably should have gone for the, where is he? Uh, do I have another? Oh, Andre here. Whenever you make eight or more blast gem, increase the damage of all your gem by 200. But yeah, that makes more sense. Let's go with that. If you don't have an Eric plate, Twilight Ritual is a nice option, but that should definitely be pretty good on him because we're going to be making a lot of Blast Gym. We're definitely making more than eight, that's for sure. So uh, also I got some Fury Gems there, uh, most important being the uh, move damage increased by 133%. All right, so let's go with the Android plate instead. I kind of forgot that. Obviously not my head is in this right now. <laughs> 
All right, so we're gonna go versus Rocky Johnson. Now keep in mind, I do not have perks right now. Does he have perks himself though? Let's have a look. Gems do 50% more damage and all color moves start with two more MP and red gems do 50% more damage. So those are the Otis specific perks. I do not have the MLC perks yet because I haven't started doing the event. I gotta do those previews first. <laughs> so let's do this. All right, so we are gonna put or well before that our red are doing 34k right now now we're gonna land our blast gems now our reds are doing 57k each Now we're gonna pick a three by two area to swap into red. Not really pretty much anywhere I put it is gonna destroy. Let's put it there so we're replacing at least one of the loot gems. Holy crap. All right, 2.2 million. Well, we did have a third finishing move that uh, we didn't see right now. <laughs> that could have worked. But yeah, that went better than I expected. We're actually going to switch the plate because I got a feeling that with that plate equip, we're never going to get to the third move. And uh, since not many of you are going to have that plate to begin with, Let's go with the Twilight Plate ad. We may we may get to see the third move with that. But clearly, if you got the uh, <laughs> if you got the the Android Plate, well, use it because it works. <laughs> Okay, same thing again. Okay, let's break it. some didn't connect to anything still 1.4 million that's gonna do it for most of the time damn we're never gonna see that third move really <laughs> well if we ever get to the third move we would do a lot of damage and i kind of have everything set up for that third move right there so after seeing this, I would tell you that don't use Priest, just put Slick Rick, you're going to do even more gen damage because you're not going to need that third move anyway. So I guess let's look at something else now. All right, second move set for Otis, which is a variation of what we just saw. We're going to use the same two purple move we just did, but we switched the third move we haven't seen for the double axe handle, seven MP red move, deal 84.5k damage, and modify a 5x5 five five random area into X break gem, because why not blow more shit up? <laughs> so, now, just between you and me, no one else, we both know we're never going to see that red move. There's no way we're not going to blow enough shit to completely destroy him just with the purple's move. So as such, I switched the trainers to optimize that damage that we're going to do. We're going to be using woods so that we're going to do four more MP. We're going to start with four more MP. We're going to use slick rig so that we're going to have 20% damage extra out of all color. We're going to keep Santa Hogan with that 2200 more damage. And I'm putting Sami Zayn with 50% more damage to Blast Gem because three quarter of the board are gonna be Blast Gems. 
This should hurt a hell more. And uh, <laughs> I mean, we already had what, 2.2, something like that. And uh, I've put back the Android. No, actually I haven't. Let's put back the Android plate. Just cause why not? This is really just for shit and giggles. It's gonna be like super overkill, I'm sure. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so let's slay those blast gems. Just for comparable right now, a red gem with a blast on it does 65,000. Put it here. Not as much as I expected it would, really. I'm kind of disappointed with only 2 million. That is definitely more than we need, but I want it better. <laughs> All right, let's try to look at something else now. All right, next one, I'm just going to show you that I'm not just going to do the gameplay because it's going to be the same thing again. We're just going to do the two purple and that's it. Just start with the corner shoulder thrust, 8 MP green move, deal 99.1k damage and increase your purple MP by 8. So basically you put the exact same trainers we just did except you put in uh, steel to start. So you start with the green. The green is going to give you your purple you need for boat move. Do boat move, purple move, blow shit up, game over. Exactly the same thing we've been doing. Just a different way to start it depending on what MP trainers you might have available at the time. So pretty much it. All right, let's look at something else. All right, other move set for Otis. Kind of similar, kind of different. It's going to be again the corner short shoulder trust, 8 MP green move, deal 95.1k damage and increase your purple MP by 8. The middle rope diving splash, 8 MP green move, deal 91k damage and make 16 blast gems into red gems. If you remember, reds were or, well, being a powerhouse, or reds are or is gem damage. And a dozer bomb again, 8 MP purple move, deal 93.4k damage, and make 32 random gems into blast gems. But, I've been thinking, I've been talking about Slick Rick all that time, completely dozed off, dozed off, on uh, Bradshaw. Duh! Should have used Bradshaw instead. Blast gem do 100% more damage. Red gem do 25 more damage. And he makes three extra blast gem. Now, I don't care that much about the extra three because we're already breaking the old board, but it is three that are going to have two, uh, well, 150% increased damage. So that's worth it. Plus, we're boosting the red. I mean, it's win, win, win. We're going to keep also Santa Ogan and we're going to keep Sammy as well. So that should hurt. And we're actually going to use all three moves. Let's do that. Now keep in mind, my medals are not optimized for this. We are still using the uh, heroic, uh, Andre Eric plate though. That's optimized. <laughs> all right, so let's get our purple. I just realized we have a we're in the middle of a hell in a cell. <laughs> so now we're gonna make the 35 blasts. Now a red with a blast does 77.6k. And now we're gonna convert 16 of those into red. That's gotta do more than two mil, come on. Come on. Two 
2.74. All right. Now we're talking. Man, that, that, that's that's really good for a free guy. <laughs> Hell, that's better than a lot of paid guys. All right, well, let's let's look at something else. I mean, we we keep, we keep getting better. <laughs> Alright, last move said we're gonna look at, but there's a lot more we could look at, really. This is gonna be more of a feud kind of build. <laughs> Although, I mean, what we already tried is feud build too, because it blows shit up. It's gonna be the Caterpillar. 10 MP red move, finisher, deal 162.9k damage. Choose 8 gems to make into purple gems and pin the opponent. The Discuss Clothesline, 6 MP Purple Move, deals 72.4k damage, and choose a 3 by 2 area to swap into Red Gems. And the Bear Hog, 9 MP Red Move, Submission, generate 16 random Submission Gems, and do 96.1k damage for 3 turns while Submission Gems are on the Gem Board. Remaining Sub Gems turn into Blast Gem. Now, anytime you got a Submission that is around 100k or more, that's always pretty damn good on a uh, feud because you get 200% damage on that sub during a feud which makes it really annoying and really effective so what we're gonna be using wood so that we start with that purple we're gonna be using zombie Austin so that red submission move lasts three more turn and do 20% more damage still send the organ so for, so we get the extra one MP because we don't have any perks right now and all color chain do 2200 more damage and we got Lashley here, so that red submission move do 50% more per turn and last one more turn. So right now it's going to be 163k damage for 7 turns. Obviously if, the, if we add the 200%, that would be a lot more. Uh, the 200% by the way is on the base damage, not on everything modified, but still, you get the ID. In a feud context, this would hurt. So... Let's have a look. It's probably not going to be as impressive right now because obviously we don't have the 200 bonus that uh, you would get during the feud, but it's still going to give you a rather good ID. Okay, so. And we have a lot of reds. Uh, nope, this is going to end. Let's put it here, maybe. Trying to prevent a cascade barely okay now we're gonna land the submission now again this not being a feud it's not gonna be enough to finish the match now it leaves a bunch of different Blast gems, and now we're gonna use a finisher which lets me do eight purple, so we're obviously gonna connect those. This is gonna blow all of those. This is gonna blow all of those. And let's drag the extra there. And let's replace a loot gem that does nothing by a purple. Should destroy all of them. Respectable 1.3 million out of that. And that actually did better than I expected it would out of you. So that is pretty much it for Otis. I mean, he is a really good character, especially as a goddamn free guy they're giving to everyone. Really good character. I mean, he's obviously a blast to play, as you saw, pun intended. So yeah, incredible character. Everyone gets him for free at two star bronze are an offer stay tuned tomorrow or at least i'll try tomorrow i will have a, a preview of otis again but this time at four star bronze and only with basic trainers no fucked up medals no op plate 
and no trainers whatsoever. Just basic train, uh, no uh, coaches, just basic trainers everyone should have. And uh, pretty sure he's still gonna do really well. So uh, stay tuned for that. For now, it's over. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. If you like the video, leave a like and share. You guys, G up.